BBC Question Time has been criticised for normalising racism after sharing an anti-immigration rant from an audience member on its social media pages. A woman asked the BBC's flagship political shows panel at what point the UK should completely close the borders to immigrants and complained about the number of people flooding into the country and using public services. Following the airing of the episode, the BBC shared the clip of the rant on Question Time's social media pages with a caption that did not challenge the audience member's argument, which was described by many as misinformed and factually inaccurate. The clip was shared on social media by official BBC accounts racking up more than 4 million times on Twitter alone in just 24 hours. Ofcom has confirmed the comments made are the subject of at least one complaint from a viewer. The full clip of the audience member's tirade being reshared by the BBC on social media by Question Time prompted a backlash from onlookers pointing out that the claims in the video were inaccurate and offensive. Video posts on the programme's social media pages do not contain fact-checking or context for the comments expressed in them. Panelists on Thursday night's show, broadcast from Weymouth, were discussing the potential of the government's new immigration proposals. The woman began her rant stating, 68 million people now live in England, going up, according to UN estimates. At what stage does the panel and people think that this country has had enough? That we should close the borders, completely close the borders. She continued, because it's got to the stage now, there's no education, infrastructure, we're sinking, surely someone's got to see common sense and say enough is enough. You've got people flooding into this country who can't speak English. She went on to question the cost of interpreters and signs in different languages in NHS facilities, while not acknowledging the contribution of immigrant workers in the health service. The woman, from London, added, What sort of country is allowing this tourism to come in? You arrive on a plane, get free service, can have your babies. You can carry on having it all for free. Panelist Ash Sucker, a journalist and lecturer at the Sandberg Institute in Amsterdam, countered the claims. She pointed out immigrants contribute more in tax than other citizens. Indeed, a 2018 Oxford Economics study found immigrants who arrived in the UK in 2016 were expected to make a net lifetime contribution of £26.9 billion to public finances. Ash Sucker A Question Time spokesperson insisted the social media output was justified. Last night's Question Time included a debate about immigration which featured a broad range of views from the audience members and panelists. We posted F for more on this story, visit the news article link.